What's up guys? Welcome back to our channel. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to create this entire necklace set using these stunning bubble hearts. I'm also gonna be showing you guys how to put together this piece as well as these super cute bubble heart huggies. Let's get right into how to create the Valentine's Day collection. First, cut your chain. Use your pliers to attach your jump ring and clasps. Open the jump ring, attach it to one side of the chain loop, and then attach the jump ring to the bottom of the ring of the clasp. Close up your jump ring. When you're closing your jump ring, you want to be pushing your hands closer together so that when you come to meet where the jump ring split, you kind of want to hear a clicking noise like that. Pass the ring and then come back to where they meet. On the opposite side, attach these super cute heart extension chain. Cut your chain, open up the jump ring, and attach the last link of the heart chain to the other side of this chain. Close your jump ring up. The first layer of the choker is done. The second layer, go ahead and use your cutter to cut your chain at your preferred length. Find the middle section of the chain where you're gonna attach your heart pendant to. Open up the jump ring, attach the jump ring to the top of the heart, then onto the middle link of the chain. Close up the jump ring. Always wanna hear that little click. Pass it and then come back to where they meet. Next, use your set of pliers to open up the jump ring again. Attach it to the bottom loop of the clasp. And onto the last link of the chain, close the jump ring up. On the opposite side of the chain, use your set of pliers to open up your jump ring and attach it to the last link of the chain and close the jump ring up. That's all you need to do to create your second layer. For the third layer, cut your chain, grab your toggle clasp. These already come with a jump ring attachment, but we're gonna go ahead and open this jump ring to separate the two. Open up the jump ring. Take off the toggle bar. Use that same jump ring to attach to one side of the chain link. Close it up. Grab another jump ring and open it up with your set of pliers and attach the toggle bar to the opposite side of the chain. Use another jump ring to attach it to your heart pendant and then to the side of the toggle clasp with the clover. This is a mother of pearl clover toggle clasp with little Pave CZ diamonds around. And that's how you create the third layer. I'm most excited to be showing you guys how to make this Chanel inspired earring set. First, use your eye pin. In this case, I'm using a freshwater pearl. Slide it onto the bottom. Bend at a 90 degree angle. Should look like this. Cut about this much of the eye pin off. Use your round nose plier, bend to create a curve, but don't close it just yet. Attach it to the CZ square charm. Using a plier with teeth is super helpful for closing the eye pin shut because the little ridges can actually hold the eye pin in place and that's gonna give you a lot more control to actually bend and push down the wire so that it can close shut. Very important to go back and make sure that the eye pin is fully closed off. We don't want any section left open because if the eye pin is even slightly open, it could cause the wire to slip out. Then use your round nose plier to go to the other section of the eye pin that was already with a loop and open that up. Attach your heart to the eye pin, close the eye pin shut. So far, it should look like this. Next, grab your set of pliers and open up the jump ring. Hook it on to the top of the CZ loop and then attach it to the ring of the earring. Close the jump ring shut. And that's exactly how you can make these Chanel inspired earrings. For the next look, I'm gonna be using this stunning crystal chain. I'm gonna be using the colorful one for this piece, but I wanted to show you guys that it comes in clear as well. First, use your cutter to cut your chain. Find the middle section of your chain. Cut that middle section. The reason why we're doing this is to make sure that we have both hearts facing the right way when it's laying on your neck. Use your set of pliers to open up the jump ring. Connect the two hearts 
that we cut off originally. Making sure they're both facing the right way, close the jump ring up. Next, use your set of pliers to open up the jump ring, attach it to one side of the necklace, and then to the ring section on the bottom of your round clasp. Close the jump ring up. Then using your set of pliers, open up your jump ring and attach it to the other side of the heart. Attach it to the round clasp and close it up. Next, cut about three inches of the heart chain again. Use your set of pliers to open up the jump ring, attach it to your chain, and then to the glass, close it up, open up another jump ring, attach it to the heart, and on the bottom of the chain link, then use your set of pliers to close it up. And that's how to make the first layer of the second set. For the earrings, we're gonna go ahead and create these super cute bubble heart huggies. You can totally use this chain again by attaching it in between the chain link and then having the heart hang at the bottom for a dangle effect. You can even use one heart to connect it in between, but I really like how the earrings pair together just like a simple gold set so i'm gonna leave it plain for the easiest part of this entire set go ahead and open up your jump ring attach it to the bottom loop of the huggy and then attach your bubble heart to the bottom close up the jump ring just repeat the same thing to the other side Be sure to check out our previous Valentine's Day tutorial to get inspired to create different pieces. We have heart lockets that you can also utilize to create these pieces. We also have these best-selling colorful glass hearts right now. They come in two sizes. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and got inspired to create your own pieces. Sending you lots of love for this Valentine's Day.